Hey guys, uh, we're about to go to Chosen Con. My I'm, hair is greasy, so don't judge me. I'm uh, being quiet because everyone else seems to be very quiet or in their own world, so I want to respect that. Um, so yeah, here we go. I'm parched. I'm not. Hey guys, just want to give you a breakdown of what is happening during this weekend. So, it's obviously Chosen Con, as you can tell by the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But Friday night, Dallas Jenkins is directing a film called The Best Christmas Pageant Ever, dropping into theaters around November, beginning of November. And I just got invited to go screen it in the hotel where everybody's staying after the event. Praying it's a great film. I mean, it should be. It's got the word best in the title. Come on, I see you, Dallas. Saturday morning at 9 a.m. That's the reason why I've been invited to interview the actor. And there might be some faces that, there might be some faces you have noticed. I get to see, not everybody online, sorry, and I can't film it, sorry about that, season five footage. I'm beyond thrilled, and honestly, I would not be here if it wasn't for you guys who watch my videos. I'm just so grateful. Last, last note, my boy DeAndre, he made this shirt. So Dallas, if you're interested, chosen by him, come on, come on. We're on the plane. This is like a terrible angle of me. Yeah, the back of the caboose. Show him the, where the, where the, that's the back. Period. Don't get awkward, Joseph. Don't get awkward. Don't get awkward. We still haven't met our mate. Our friend. I don't know why I said our mate. Good day, mate. It is currently 12 o'clock here in Florida, about to go to the event here in a couple hours, but I just received an email that is going to make fans of The Chosen lose their marbles. So feel honored to get emails like that. So what that means is I'm gonna go film a video about what everyone else is gonna hear tonight at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, get excited. And I can hold We're this. We're recording now, check, check. Check, check. Let's do a, let's do a clap. <laughs> Gotta get that B-roll. You are so out of frame. Gotta get that B-roll. <laughs> scary elevator. Oh yeah, I need to do this. Okay, we're P1? Yeah. Okay, then you can stop there. So currently right now we're trying to find our Uber driver because we need to get our press back. Well guys, we're here at Chosen Con. It's like 12-ish, I believe. No, it's like two o'clock. Gosh, this day's going by fast. But we're here. I'm about to get my press badge with my wife and I. And I believe this is like the Orlando World Marriott Hotel, something like that. It's freaking massive. This place is huge. Look at that, incredible. But anyways, I'm excited and we're here to get our Chosen Con on. Let's get started. Loudest door in the entire world. I don't think you even heard me say that, but loudest door in the entire world. Here we are. It's actually pretty sick. It smells wealthy. <laughs> Rich in spirit. Dang, look at Judas. Spoilers, that man's gonna betray Jesus. Don't know if you guys know that already. I'm done. <laughs> okay, let's find 10 City. I think that's Rayma. She died. She's dead. Spoilers. Oh, that's sick. 
Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Hey, by any chance, do you know where the tent area is? The Magnolia entrance? I think it's nearby that. Right around the, like by the help desk. Okay. Behind that. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much. They said it's down this way. Yep, tent city. This is the area where if my wife gets cold, we can get merch. What's speaking to me? Oh, but I'm not a zipper kind of guy, but I'll get the t-shirts, Dallas. Currently at Chosen Con right now, just got my press badge from Ashley. Thank you so much from 130 Agency. Uh, definitely not a plug-in, it's definitely a plug-in. But I'm excited, and we're actually gonna try to find some people to talk to. What's their story, and why they're here, and are they excited? You're good, you're good. We want people to walk by, we want it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I actually ask you guys a quick question. Sure. Let's see, are you comfortable? This is gonna go on YouTube on my channel where I'm gonna do a whole recap of the chosen experience. Oh, no problem. Yeah, I see, are you recording? Yeah. Awesome, so first off, what's your guy's name? My name is Kim. Kim? Sherry. Sherry, nice to meet you guys. My name is Joseph. So what brought you guys here? My wife. <laughs> your wife? What's your reason? You love the show? I love the show. Okay. Yeah. What, how did you get involved? Like, how did you start watching the series? Or, like, did somebody tell you about it, or did you find it yourself? Other people had told me about it, but I, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just kept putting it off and putting it off. And... So probably, I think during the third season, I finally started with the first season. Same here. And really? I Same was story. Yeah. really, yep. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, boy, I was hooked from from episode one. Wow. I was hooked. We're both singers. Really. And we both have performed on stage in plays and stuff. Wow. And I've been quite often in the background. I used to be a technical director for Civic Center, so the technical stuff really blew my mind. Wow. Blew my mind as to all the stuff that they got so right. Wow. And that's what really caught my attention. And then the attention to the biblical detail. And it's inspired me to go right now on to do a, a mission myself for our county by creating a theater group that's going to emphasize towards biblical values instead of doing Hollywood style stuff. That's beautiful. Well, thank you guys so much. Really means a lot. Let's see. So glad you convinced this guy to watch the show. So glad. <laughs> see you guys. And I just met these beautiful people. Can you tell me your name? Yes, I'm Karen, but I'm a nice Karen. Okay. Okay. Hear that? Come on. She's changing the stereotype. That's right. She's starting it. <laughs> My name's Todd. Todd? Todd and Karen, the nice one. Okay, guys, so what brought you guys here and where are you from? I live in Orlando. Okay. So, but I'm from St. Louis originally, and oh my gosh, I am a Chosen Con fan. I'm a fan. I've watched every season. I love it so much. It's incredible. That's beautiful. What about you? I'm from St. Louis. Still live there. Okay. What got you guys into the show? Was it a friend? Was it a family member? Was it yourself? How did you guys get involved with checking this series out? I first heard about it from a friend from church. And I was like, a show about Jesus that's not cheesy and it's supposed to be really good. And once I checked it out, I was like, yes, this is this is very well done. I heard about it from a friend from church and she was going on and on about how good it was. And I love it. And I've learned so much from it, which is what I love. Who is your favorite disciple and why? Matthew. Matthew, Matthew is because uh, it, it, there was so much involved in like him being the tax collector and everything and then stepping away from that and you could tell the inner turmoil and all of that and I also love his personality that he's very meticulous and very I don't know I just think it's cool that they've represented someone with maybe ADD or OCD or something like that and I love that inclusion I, I do like Matthew it's tough it's a tie I think between him and Peter because I think uh, with Peter's role, with his frustrations and everything, I think I think Shahar does an amazing job of showing that frustration and, awesome. and different things that we, we read about, but we, until we see it, we don't truly understand it. Thank you guys for sharing. Todd and the amazing Karen. You heard it here first. Come on, she's changing. She's changing the stereotype, people. Here we are with the lovely 
Valerie. Valerie. And Laura. Laura. Okay, first off, you ladies look amazing. Second off, why are you here at Chosen Con in Florida? I live in Florida, you live in, in Florida. St. Okay. Augustine, and okay. we watched we watched all of the episodes of The Chosen, and it's, it's really anointed. And uh, we've, I've been a Christian forever. This is my sister, Laura. Same thing. You still live here around the area? I'm from Ohio. Ohio. I'm from Ohio, and I've loved The Chosen since day one. I've seen it over and over and over. Favorite episode, real quick. Oh, I love when the opening and. Season four, when Matthew takes his book, the book of Matthew, for Mary to look at. And it was just so deep, you know? I don't know what episode, but when uh, when Jesus said, when he was there accusing him of blaspheme, blaspheming and saying, you're the law of Moses, and he said, I am the law of Moses. So I'm here with another family. So first off, what's your name? Renato. And? Clemente. And? Amparo. And? Carla. And? Gustavo. Now, are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah, okay, okay. So, where are you guys originally from? Is it Florida? Are you guys from around here or some other state? Uh, Chile. Chile? You guys came all the way from Chile to be here? Well, well we, we live in Miami. Miami? Where we, okay. Yeah. Hey, that's still a little bit of distance. Come on. You guys came all the way from Miami to yeah. be here? That's amazing. What are you looking forward to? Who wants to say what is their most anticipated part for this event today. Maybe seeing the, the actors. The actors? Meeting the actors. Yeah. The actors? Okay, okay. What about you? Actors? Yeah, I'll probably uh, get in touch with yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get an idea of the dimension of the show. Yeah. There's a lot of people here. That's a good answer, because I'm excited to meet them, because I'm going to see them tomorrow, actually. I'm going to meet Noah James and all of them, Andrew. It's going to be so cool. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm actually, I'm still shaking. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is your favorite moment from the entire series if one moment that can come to your mind something that you always go back to or think about when jesus walks in the water and peter um, sings in the water yeah yeah i think the same same yeah season three it's great. really good season three finale one of the best healing of shula and barnaby uh, uh, the miracles the, la mujer de de sangre. The, the, the women with the problem with the blood yes. thank you guys so much i'll let you guys get to it Thank you, thank you. Just waiting for our Chick fil A. And, uh, Alicia's, you know, doing her thing, posting stuff for young adults. And just, just want to take a moment to eat some food and relax after doing some interviews with some, some strangers, but now not so much of a strangers. They're actually really cool people. And after this, we're going to go in for the main event, the 5.30 p.m. live stream, which people are not ready for. <laughs> We do not deserve this, but we need this, so thank take you. Take it. We thank will you, take thank it. You, thank you. Have a seat. Come on now. This really means a lot. Uh, seven and a half years ago, when we were home alone, crying and confused and thinking we would never make another movie or TV show again, did you picture this moment right now? I don't, I mean, this is, wasn't a thing. This isn't a thing, except for with you guys, so. No. So, this, this weekend is first and foremost an opportunity for us to thank you. That's why we do this. That is the banner across the top of ChosenCon. It is, it is our opportunity to thank you. 
And so we hope that this weekend you feel poured into. We, our, our team has put, been going through quite a bit to prepare for you all year long to make sure that you have a good experience. And I'm hoping to get a chance to, if I haven't already, touch base with each and every one of you at some point this weekend. But it is an opportunity to thank you. However, I will acknowledge that there's a little bit of selfishness on our part too. Um, the cast, the crew, the team behind our company, um, they work really, really hard. And there's a lot of sacrifices. And we're gonna put up on the screen, there's a QR code. And so this is coming, yeah. So this is a QR code, you don't have to do it this moment. But just use your phone, and if you are over the age of 60, ask your grandkid to help you. <laughs> I don't care about the fame. I don't care about the expansion of the company. I don't care about the growth of our operation here. I don't care how many people show up or not. It's wonderful. But if we're not remembering this, if this isn't our primary focus, is getting this show free to everyone without, res without any uh, restrictions or reservations, that's what the gospel is about, and that's what our show is about. So check this out. someone that you've never worked with before. He, he, he commits to it because he knows that he has to do that and he has to do the right thing. And, um, you know, as far as I was looking forward to that. But he still doesn't understand why that has to be the answer. He still doesn't fully understand what Jesus means by all of the things that he said.
Holy Week, and I want to give you some uh, good news. Yeah, some good news and some bad news about the release of seasons five through seven. So I'm going to start with. Oh, just be, just, just be patient. Uh, so here's the bad news. Uh, the bad news is that moving forward, our releases will be delayed a bit. You know, not as long as they were this past time. We don't know the exact date that we're going to be releasing. Um, but they will be pushed back from just the, the, the routine that we were on leading up to this year. And the reason is, and this is the good news, the reason is, is that it's become increasingly clear to us that when we release a season, we should be releasing it in multiple languages at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. On Easter of 2028, we want to have global theatrical events, right? <laughs> Can you picture the literally tens of millions of people all over the world who, on Easter, when everyone's attention is focused on these stories all over the world, we are going to release in theaters the double episodes of the crucifixion and the following Easter, the double episodes of the resurrection. Spoiler alert. So, um, so yeah. So that, and this image here, of course, says quite a bit. And uh, we're writing those scripts right now. Uh, literally, I just received the first draft of episode five, uh, so we are already five, six episodes into our writing. I can tell you when I read the first script, and then I showed you uh, the first script of the season, uh, you can't for itself. <laughs> so what is the first project that I am going to do with Five and Two Studios after The Chosen Season 7. Well, we've talked about the MANA program. We've talked about Red Sea Moments. Uh, throughout the first five seasons of the show, you've heard his name mentioned many times. And so this is why I do want to tell this story. The Chosen Book of Moses. That is not the correct image for the <laughs> So let's, uh, let's have the camera be on this screen, because for some reason, two, two images are uh, interfering, interfering with each other. I promise you there's no airplanes in the Moses story. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> so, Moses is an underqualified, forced to be surrendered man who is called by God to do things that he didn't ever see coming and that he wasn't qualified for. And so we have always identified with Moses from that regard. And as the chosen has grown, the more and more that we experience life, we go, man, we've got to tell the Moses story. And so uh, we're going to be doing three seasons. Of, uh, that's going to be a three-season show that's going to cover uh, three of the most consequential moments of the Moses story and the, the, the journey, of course, um, out of Egypt. And yeah, um, this is a big show. Uh, yeah. What comes next after this story? All right, here we go. Let's show it. Book of Acts. Is that a surprise? In the Book of Acts, they refer to the way. In fact, if you watch the messengers, that was one of their code words was the way. That's what this movement was referred to as, was the way, and so we believe a great title for these stories of Acts, the stories of the apostles, the stories of the birth of the early church. And there might have been another guy who came along in this story uh, who might deserve his own show. And so uh, the way of the chosen is the uh, project that we are doing after uh, the book of Moses. And yeah, we're gonna bring, uh, we're gonna bring the, the birth of the early church. And uh, so I know you wanna see some of these guys who are up on stage. Amazing.
the next limited series that we want to do before the end of The Chosen. Let's show that right now. everything I need. Is your father rich? We did have this thought of, boy, it would be interesting to kind of dive deeper. And what happens to those kids after they've met Jesus? You remember when I said that I have a job that is bigger than my train? I actually presented an idea to Dallas. I'm like, hey, what about doing an animated series of The Chosen? And he's like, oh, are you kidding me? We, we're, just, we're just barely getting started. I am so excited to finally be able to say to you that we have a new project. The Chosen Adventures. And I pray that there are ever two children who this time you, you will give them the courage to say Shalom. So The Chosen Adventures will be a look at the world of Jesus' ministry through the eyes of two nine-year-olds who encounter him in their play space one day. So, what's your name? My name is Jesus. I mean, how often do you just get to watch Jesus interacting with kids just for the sake of it? My family isn't wealthy. Many times, that's better. The Chosen Live Action series is its DNA and how we're telling that story. But again, this is going right back to the Bible. The most hope-giving, faith-offering, true word uh, ever written. And so yes, there's a whimsy and there's a humor in this animated series. Could you tell me why God made wasps? We also are going to experience what the culture was like. We want to put you there. We want you to see that as well. And yes, through the eyes of a child. Why? Because Jesus loved childlike faith, childlike perspective. I've seen the concept art and what I just, I love that there's a style to it. A Capernaum like you've never seen it. The artists have done an incredible job. I haven't really seen this style anywhere else. And the art that I've seen is just unbelievable. <laughs> Obviously kids will, I think, love the show, but it's also one that parents can watch during and be entertained as well. I'm gonna get my ass Chosen Adventures, you're going to see a lot of our live action cast. They're going to be in a slightly secondary role, but they will be there enough to let you know. Very, very Thomas, Thomas, we have to do something. Jesus comes in as like the, the teacher character, like the, the wisdom of the series. But your parents' life experience is also strong. <laughs> They want to keep you safe. I am animated. It is very interesting to, to know that my face is going to be this... <laughs> <laughs> cool. 
<laughs> our main characters, Abby and Joshua, come right from our live action show, but they're met with a cast of characters that uh, I've overseen a creative team in developing. Oh, I get it now. Pigeon, I forgive you. Trust me, if I could do hair, I wouldn't choose to work with catfish for a living. Ah, just in time. I was just about to close for the night. Ah, oh, humans. You're so good at justifying bad behavior. Girl, who you fooling? Not me. TV Cribs. This is my crib. So this is my humble abode. This is where I sleep. This is where I eat. This is my vehicle. I live a good life. I know. <laughs> Ladies, I know you see me in the sweater. I am taken. Uh, I know it's a struggle when I wear something like this, but... <laughs> Walking back to our hotel after day one, Chosen Con. Uh, it's been a fantastic day. It's been long, but good. A lot of announcements. She's clearly tired, if you heard that yawn. Because it's been good, but long. You know, we're ready to hit the hay, but actually, I'm going to film a little quick reaction to the best Christmas pageant ever let you guys know my thoughts but until day two which is actually game day for me i'm going to be interviewing a lot of the actors yes we just came in for the tail end at the main stage for the trivia night uh cast and crew against each other and of course the cast won it was actually really funny and then they showed us some exclusive footage of season five some people might be posting, but some stuff is genuinely not allowed to be out there. So I'm going to respect the embargo and not put it out there until they say, hey, you can release this, but I'm pretty sure no one can release it until the actual trailer itself. Because what I will say is they showed us a not fully edited one minute clip, and then they showed us a full scene, still some edits that need to be done with Jesus. I'll say that, and oh my God, I'll play this. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my coverage for Chosen Con. Uh, it's been a really fun experience, and I hope I can do it again. Uh, thank you guys so much for the people that invited me. I look forward to many other opportunities. And until then, don't forget to like and subscribe, but most importantly, do not forget to be blessed. And stay tuned for a full cast interview video dropping really soon.